Welcome back to our channel, Thai Aussies, where we unravel the mysteries and dive into the unexpected and unexplained. Is there a conspiracy revolving around the herb Trigonostomum? This theory of mine will take you on a journey through the peculiar world of herbs, specifically focusing on the infamous herb Trigonostomum, also known as Nang Sang or Loktanong Dang in Thailand. This herb recently hit the news and it caused a ruckus in the medical community. I recommend you do your own research and diligence to satisfy your own curiosity on the subject. These are only my theories and opinions, so please do your own research. Now, let's look at what we do know. Buckle up, it's going to be a wild ride. So the theory goes something like this. The herb trigonostomy is causing quite a stir in the medical community. Despite its affordability and accessibility, there seems to be an unrelentless attack and dislike for those who distribute the product by certain health professionals, particularly ones that are involved in skincare and the beauty care clinics uh, set up. Could there be more to this herb than really meets the eye? Is there a conspiracy lurking beneath its roots? Let's unravel the tale. Trigonostomum certainly has caused a divide. So let's meet the herb Trigonostomum. And why is this herb causing such a division in the medical community? For those who don't know what Trigonostomum is, it's a herb where its roots, the rhizomes, are used in traditional Thai medicine. They've been used in traditional Thai medicine for decades, perhaps even centuries. Now, the ancient used it in the past because they did not have easy access to public health or hospitals. So they had to rely upon themselves and treat themselves. Now, despite this herb being very affordable and available to everyone today, there's a distinct dislike of it amongst healthcare professionals. The rumor has it that this herb's popularity threatens certain pharmaceutical and medical interests. Could this be the root cause? Let's look at the facts surrounding Trigonostomum. Trigonostomum comes with a rich history of folklore filled with mystical healing powers and claims of everlasting youth. The medical community, however, dismiss these stories as mere myths. But what if these tales do hold a kernel or element of truth that the powers to be don't want us to discover? What if there's more to this story than meets the eye? Let's begin to dissect the fact from the fiction. The medical community argues that trigonostomum has no scientific evidence to support or back up the supposed benefits. But I don't think this is the real issue. I think there is an orchestrated effort to downplay the potential benefits of trigonostomum and other herbs. There is an underground movement of herb enthusiasts that swear by its miraculous powers and effects. Are we witnessing a clash between traditional wisdom and modern medicine? Or is there something more clandestine going on behind the scenes? Now, trigonostomum is not without its jokes. Trigonostomum isn't just your run-of-the-mill everyday herb. It's got a wicked sense of humour too. The rumour has it that Trigonostomum hates venomous snake toxins and poisonous things so much it will try to strangle them as quickly as possible. It's like the herb takes on toxin beasties and detoxifies you to stop you from suffocating or getting gangrene. What's even more intriguing about Trigonostomum is that it's not limited to snake bites, insect bites, and skin care. Ancient records suggest it played a role in helping individuals overcome addiction to drugs. Could this herb hold the key to breaking free from these harmful habits and dangerous substance abuse? The medical community might raise an eyebrow, but the tales persist, connecting trigonostomum or nansang to both outer and inner well-being throughout the ages. Ooh, talk about a herb with a hands-on approach to wellness. It's the ultimate detox standard. 
But hey, the medical community isn't rolling in the aisles with laughter over this one. Could it be that Trigonostomon's talents are just too cutting edge for the current medical fraternity to understand and comprehend? This herd has a punchline that leaves everyone guessing what's going on, yelling or ducking for cover. Is the herbarchy taking over the medical hierarchy? Trigonostomon is definitely creating a revolution in the world of herbs. I believe it is a threat to the established medical hierarchy and it does give genuine alternatives for those seeking affordable healthcare options. The lines are blurred and it's time to question what we've been told about herbs and their role in our well-being. A very, very good herb to help reduce abscesses, acne, lesions on the skin, and even uh, help with snake bites and insect stings to prevent necrosis sitting in. Now, these herbs were difficult to use in the past because they had to grind them up and make them into a powder and, and then they had to mix some other herbs with it so that it wasn't as strong because the root of Nang Sang in its purest form is very strong. Now, these herbs were also used as a detoxification. So people who had been bitten by snakes such as cobras, Nang Sang was used with lime juice or lemon juice mixed together and some other herb mixed together with it to draw out the venom when people were bitten by snakes. Now when you get bitten by a cobra, it can leave some nasty wounds if it doesn't kill you first. To help recover the uh, person suffering, we'd use the, the powder of the Nang Sang mixed with the, the lime, lime or lemon juice and rub it into the wound. And it would draw out the toxins. I was later discovered that these herbs could also be used for skin care if there was a not so potent version of it. So through years and years of knowledge, they were able to use Nang Sang for basic therapies for skin disorders, such as acne and blemishes, and also still for uh, abscesses and, and lesions. It was still difficult to use in the, in the olden days, but now it's very easy because people have developed it through 40 years of development, testing and, and learning about the herbs, realised that it was not easy to use and wanted to help the average person, me, you, anybody who wanted to use alternative therapies, get access to using it. So through research and a lot of testing and trial and error, came up with a formula whereby just using three ingredients, coconut oil, the kernel of palm seeds, and the trigonostomy. Blend these in the correct amounts and consistency to create what looks like a bar of soap. But it's not a bar of soap as we traditionally think of a bar of soap as it doesn't contain uh, chemicals. So we don't have to worry about these harsh um, inorganic chemicals that are used to make the soap, it's all natural. So this, coupled with the ease of use and the cost and the benefits that you get from it, I think it's upset the medical fraternity and they went on a witch hunt to, to kill all this guy and it's just, outrageous actually and it's a shame that some of the multimedia platforms jumped on the bandwagon and the news outlets uh, jumped on the bandwagon and just came out saying that the product was unsafe. It was such a, a ruckus that the health department that actually approved the product had to go in again and investigate the ingredients that were used and they only just recently came back with the results saying that, guess what? The product is safe. So what was it that these medical practitioners, these uh, clinics, these people selling their cosmetics were on about? You be the judge. But from what we know of Nang Sang, it helps with a multitude of skin conditions. Well, there you have it, folks. Our explanation into the mysterious world of Trigonostomum, also known as Nang Sang and Lok Dang, and the theories surrounding it. 
Whether it's a conspiracy or just a highly misunderstood herb, one thing's for sure, the story is far from over. So stay curious, keep questioning, and stay tuned for more unexplained stories. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for your regular dose of laughter and intrigue. Thai Aussies out. Thank <laughs> you.